ask you about the National League for a moment. So the Charlie Morton injury, in my mind, kind of sneaks under the radar for Atlanta this year. And also, because we haven't done it yet on this show, congrats to Ronald Acuna Jr., 40-40 club, or eventually, what, 40-70 club? 40-70 eventually. Maybe this week. Yeah. Um, so that was cool, the, the homer off Patrick Corbin the other day. But Charlie Morton hits the IL. It's a sprained right index finger. Earliest you'll see him back is the NLCS. We're not getting guarantees about Max Freed yet either. You have to see how the blister heals, which can be tricky. It's always a topic that pops up in baseball with a few pitchers per year. And for Morton, in, in, again, a solid season, Russ. mid three ZRA. Strikeout numbers are still excellent for him. Last year, they dealt with this in their rotation. Strider was coming back from the oblique. Remember, eventually Philly blitzed him in that postseason game. Freed had the stomach bug. So now you're going to start to turn your attention to, of course, Strider's going to be the horse and lead the way. Bryce Elder, who hasn't been as good in the second half. Kyle Wright coming back from an injury. My point is, I think Atlanta has suddenly turned from the perfect team to the powerhouse in baseball that has flaws. Yeah, and we just talked about it with the Rangers. Like They're a team that I look at now because of those injuries and say, all right, you're just going to have to score six, seven runs a game. Right. And that juggernaut offense that has been historic, they're going to have to lead this thing because you talk about Bryce Elder, a 4.71 ERA in the second half has not been the same guy he was in the first half. Even Spencer Strider, who is the next guy who's going to strike out 300 in the big leagues, has a 4.32 ERA in the second half. Like he's getting touched up. He's still striking out a lot of guys, but he's getting touched up too. And with Charlie Morton, he's so consistent. Even at 39 years old, you talk about that mid threes ERA, almost struck out 200. And he's a guy that has pitched a ton in the postseason, guy pitched in the World Series on a broken leg. Like, that's the dude that I want in that rotation. He was probably going to be the guy that got starts in the postseason over a guy like Bryce Elder, who was an all-star this year because of how consistent he was. And now you're going to have Strider trying to lead that thing, and you're going to have, what, openers in the postseason, which I don't love. It just puts you at a deficit when it comes to your bullpen in the series. It's not a great situation if you're Atlanta. and. I don't know what they're going to do because, you know, you're trying to think ahead to the ALCS to get Charlie Morton back. You might get beat in the uh, the NLDS. You know what I mean? Like, I think the most dangerous team going into the postseason right now is the Philadelphia Phillies. And the same thing that happened to Atlanta last year where they were red hot going into the postseason just like they are this year when they chased down the New York Mets. And then the Phillies came through and said, okay, we're going to play like the team we're supposed to play like. And then they got bounced, beat them handily, the 3-1 in that series. Uh, that thing could happen again, and it would be deja vu for Atlanta. Are we talking about it because this is baseball and this is what we do? We talk about, like, well, you know, Mike Trout, when he was the best player in the game, but he doesn't have a great arm. Like, we're always looking for a flaw. Is this because the Braves have been this good that we're like, oh, yeah, you know, they'll still be fine, even though they're going to lose their number two and number three going into the playoffs? And this happens to any other team. It's – SOL, they're Dunsky. I I think it's because we know the game. And at the end of the day, yes, because they have that lineup, they have a shot. You know what I mean? Like when you a lot of teams don't have the the opportunity to have the first player to ever go 40-70 and Matt Olsen, who set the franchise record for homers, and, and Marcelo Zuna, who's had 36 homers, and, and Michael Harris the second, and on and on and on. Austin Riley had 35 homers. Like most teams have one of those guys. The fact that they have all of those guys and Ozzy Albies, they it gives them an opportunity and they have a little bit more margin for error. But we look at that rotation and we because we know that's such an important part of ultimately getting to the World Series, where you have to be critical and say, hey, even with all that that you have that made you such a really good team, if you don't have this part of the equation going into October, it's going to be very difficult for you to get to the World Series. Yeah, it's a good point. And I think the one other thing on that front, I know you said you can't just bullpen your way through, but their bullpen is good. It's really good. They're, the Braves' bullpen is okay. Really? It's okay. They're not, they're not elite. They're not, they're not Mariners elite. I think the Phillies have more strikeouts and probably walks too. They strike out. They walk the world. But the Braves' bullpen from like seven and eight, I think Iglesias, I think Iglesias in a big spot. I think he's legit. He's given up some big homers, but mm-hmm. 
I think you have. I worry about him. I worry about. I him. worry about him too. I, 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 worry, think I, worry, I worry about Minter. I worry about him. I worry about. All, I mean, there's a lot of guys on that bullpen that have been known to give it up in big spots. I mean, am I wrong, Russ? And the, no, you're not. And I think like AJ Minter has been so shut down for them the last couple of years, and he just hasn't had the same type of year this year. And I think we think back to that 21 team that won the World Series where you had Minter and Tyler Matzik and all these guys and that they call them like the night shift. Those guys aren't, it's not the same group, right? And, and Minter, he's, he has times where he flashes being that guy, but sometimes for relievers, like you're just not going to, you're just going to have that season where it's not, it's not clicking for you. And I think AJ Minter is having that. I probably trust AJ Minter more in, in October in some of those big spots and some of those other arms that they have just because the guy's done it and he's been in those spots before. And I think, you know, when the lights are bright in October, you're going to have some guys who have had good seasons, but they've just never been in that position before. And it shows. Yeah, it also showed last year not having Freed. Like, I think Freed, I think Freed is a big part of it. It's not, he's not pitching the seventh, eighth, and ninth innings. You're not getting, you might not even get seven out of Strider. Like, so yes, I get it that those guys have to do that. But Freed really, I feel like he and Ian Anderson in 21, really push them through the playoffs. And I don't – I just don't know. I think that's the biggest injury. Even though Morton's a huge injury, just a lot of uncertainty there. For me, there's a lot of uncertainty. Yeah, no, it, like Strider starts a game one for you. Strikes out 12. But he's if he's done after five and two-thirds because he's at a buck 10, <laughs> you're in a tough spot, right? And, and yep. then you're, you're trying to get three and a half innings out of your bullpen then that puts you at a deficit the next day. It's like Bryce Elder's your game two starter. If Bryce Elder's only going five innings, that means you need another four innings from your bullpen. And then in game three, you have to go bullpen game after just have using seven innings from your bullpen the prior two nights. It's tough, man. And, and, and you get in a position where it's just like you just can't do that. And Braves fans, just so you know, Strider only had five strikeouts last night. So if you needed anything else to worry about, there's another piece. <laughs> 